Okay, so today, this is for anybody who's never restrung a guitar. Um, my strings sound pretty dead to me, so. They sound pretty dead to me, so I'm going to change them. I don't have my favorite strings on hand right now, so I'm using these Diodario light gauge have this this is a really handy tool uh, this end virtually fits almost any tuning knob both ways and this end is for whenever these get your pins get stuck you can take this pop it in there and yank a pin out and you can also use these as cutters to cut the excess string that you got hanging off your guitar so these are like maybe 10 15 bucks i haven't bought one in like five years but very handy tool Whenever you take the strings off, what I do, I take and push the string down in the pin. So you'll watch, and I'll take and push it down in, and you hear it go in the guitar. Then you can take, it takes a lot of pressure off the pin, and you can easily pull it up out of there along with your strings. And I usually just stick the same exact pin in the hole that I pulled it out of. Uh, they wear to like the size of the string so I don't mix I mean I don't think it would make a difference I just always do this and this is just something I do Whenever I get these three down, I flip the guitar around. It's just easier to work on that way for me. I hope you guys can see a different angle, hopefully, but uh, I'm trying to work with you best I can. Do try to be careful when you take strings off. They will prick you, and uh, it does not feel very good. So, remind, just remind yourself, try not to touch, like, try not to prick yourself with these strings. And they do hurt. And I, oh, I will also note that if you have really old strings on a guitar, if you have really old strings on a guitar and uh, someone give it to you, I would suggest laying a cloth or something over it because some strings are so old that they can snap and break. And the last thing you want is to put your eye out with an old string that someone give you a guitar as a gift, you know. So, old strings break, new strings break. Um, I've done this a lot. Uh, not saying that it's not going to happen ever. I've had several strings break and hit me. It's just, you know, I'm just, this is just how I do it. But, that's just a piece of advice. Strings can break. And, um, if your face is in the vicinity, it will get hit. And it will leave a mark. It will hurt. As you can see, they do color code 
these strings. So, and they label them. Uh, these have eight strings on the pack, but if you buy guitar strings, you only get six strings. You don't get these two. You only get six strings. Diodarios, they come two strings together wrapped. So you have three rings, but you have six strings here. Elixirs, on the other hand, they have six individual packages. So, that's pretty neat, you know. I just wanted to show you guys not all strings are at all the same, by no means, and they are packaged different. But this one, I love these just for beginners because it, there's no way to mess it up if you follow this down. Your sixth string and your fifth string are the two biggest strings you got. And they are color-coded. Brass and is the sixth string, and the red one is the A string. So very easy. So how I do this, I'll take and just pull the pin out, have the string in my hand. Push the string in there just a little bit. Then I'll push the pin down. Kind of letting it just take the slack. I'll hold down on the pin. And I'll pull up pretty hard. Try to just set the pin so it won't pull out as I'm tuning it up. So the pin shouldn't move anymore while I tune the knob. If you have a brand new guitar... Um, or maybe even a guitar you've had for a little while. If you notice changing the strings, your pins are always coming up. That is normal. Um, they just need to be wore in a little bit. Just keep pushing that thing down there. Make sure it's down all the way. That's the most important part. It's just make sure it's down where it's supposed to be. Generally, I really, it's just by feel for me. I really don't know how to tell you how far to pull your strings through. But you do want to leave slack on the neck, like plenty of slack. So when you wind it up, if it slips, it doesn't come out of your hole up here. You want it to bend all the way around and hold a tight circle all the way around it so when it does slip you have extra string it's going to slip on it's not going to slip directly out of this hole up here And when you're doing this, um, just get the string tight enough to make a decent noise. That way you know you're not over tightening it. And, you know, at least you know your pin's going to hold in there good enough to get the rest of the strings. So when you do tune it up, it's no problem. Remember, I just take the string, push down in here, take my pin, set it down, hold it, pull.
Remember guys, if you do get mixed up again, it's labeled right here. So green will be your third string and the black one will be your fourth string. So again, if you ever get lost, these will help you. And it goes six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, once you have this all tuned up, make sure all of your pins are seated good. All strings are on the marks of the bridge, as they should be. And then, you know, obviously the correct strings as they go down the neck. Again, you know, if you do have dead old strings or new, even new strings can break. But um, it is, you know, a good idea to have something laying down on top. Just in case anything was to break, you would, you would not get hurt. It should be easy anyways. But just in case, that's a good piece of advice to have. Especially to any new people trying to do this. But uh, I hope this video helped you out. And we'll see you next time.